Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here with another game from Baseball Max, and this is going to be two teams from the history of baseball from two different leagues. And what we are going to do is we're going to take the 2005 world champion Chicago White Sox, my White Sox, going up against the 1979 California Angels, just because... I happen to remember the California Angels were a pretty good team. Um, and we will be facing Frank Tanana, and we will have Mark Burley on the mound. So our lineup is going to be Tegato Iguchi. I don't remember his name exactly. Uh, Aaron Rowan batting second and playing center field. Paul Canerco Pauly is going to be in the third spot playing first base. Then we're going to have Jermaine Dye batting in the cleanup spot in right field. Carl Everett will be in the fifth spot uh, and in left field. Joe Creedy will be the third baseman batting sixth. Jose Uribe will be the seventh hitter and play shortstop. A.J. Przinski will be the catcher batting eighth. And, unfortunately, Jeff Blum is going to be the D.H. I don't know why, but that's, I mean, we'll go with it. That's what the team put out. I personally, I would go with the Big Hurt. But let's see if we can beat 79 uh, California with this lineup. And we will go next. And then uh, facing Burley for them, for the uh, Angels, will be Carney Lansford leading off and playing third base. Uh, Anderson will bat second and play shortstop. Don Baylor will bat third, be the left fielder. Baba Gritch will play second base and bat cleanup. Dan Ford will bat fifth and play right field. Willie Aikens will bat sixth and play first base. Brian Downing will be the catcher batting seventh. Ralph Gar will bat eighth and be the DH. And Rick Miller will bat in the ninth spot and be the center fielder. So with that all having been said, let's get on with this game. Again, I just can't get over the fact that he decided to put Blum as the DH. But anyway, we'll do our best, and then maybe we can use the Big Hurt as a pinch hitter later if we need to do that. So right now it's going to be Tadahito Iguchi facing Frank Tanana. Now I could have put up Ryan, but Ryan had pitched in my 72 um, White Sox season. So, you know, and that's just too easy. It's just too easy. So we're going to go with Tanana, and uh, there is one out. And uh, Aaron Rowan is the batter. It looks like he's going to walk, and he does. So he's aboard. And that brings up Pauly. Paul Canerco. Nice card, too. But he's going to ground into a double play, and we're out of the inning. So we're going to the bottom of the first inning, where Carney Lansford will greet Mr. Mark Burley, who has a pretty good card. And that's going to be a fly to left, so there's one down. Jim Anderson, big Jim Anderson, is going to fly out to center. Just missed that double and single split. And then Don Baylor, let's stay out of that one column. And he's going to get a 5-9. Well, there you go. I mean, he still potentially has a possible home run. But it isn't. It's a double. So Don Baylor is up at second. And there is two down. And uh, Bobby Gritch. Bobby Gritch. And he's going to walk. So now we've got two runners on with two out. And that brings up Dan Ford. Let's hope Dan Ford can't get aboard. He possibly can. Single one to seven. But he won't, and he's out, and uh, California gets no runs, even though Burley came close to giving one up. He didn't. And so Jermaine Dye is the batter against Frank Tanana. And that's going to be a single, so we got a guy aboard. Jermaine Dye is aboard, and that brings up Carl Everett. And he's going to get a ground ball to the third baseman, and that is a double play because they, I think that's Carney Lansford. He's pretty good. So 6-5, and that's going to be a strikeout, and we're out of the inning. Creedy strikes out, and we go to the bottom of the second inning with Willie Aikens up. 
And he will get a strikeout. So Burley strikes him out. Which brings up Brian Downing. He's got a lot of on-base chances on this card. And he does get one of them. He gets a single. And uh, the card cannot be displayed for whoever this is. That's going to be a catcher card X, and it's a pop-out. Rick Miller, I guess, is up now, so I don't remember who that was. But whoever it was, they don't have the card displayed. And that's kind of a thing that um, I think Strat needs to clean up, is the cards that are missing throughout the ages through from different teams. So you got Juan Uribe is the batter um, for the White Sox. And that's going to be a fly ball. So everything in, for Tanana is, most of the stuff is in the four column, and then there's a couple of things. Oh, and it's even worse against lefties. So anyway, uh, we've got A.J. Przinsky up. And that's going to be a strikeout. So nobody can get a get going here. And Jeff Blum is the batter. And he's going to get a ground ball. So we don't get anything in the third. We go to the bottom of the third where Carney Lansford, back to the top of the order, is the batter. And he is going to ground out. So there's one down in this 0-0 game in the third inning with Jim Anderson up. And he's going to hit a double. He just rips a double right down the line. He just said, uh, it's not even going to be a split double. It's going to be a double. Don Baylor is the batter. And he's going to jack it. So now California has a two-run lead with Bobby Gritch up at the plate and only one out. And that's going to be a uh, possible double, but at least a single. It's going to be a single. So Bobby Gritch is aboard, and uh, that brings up Dan Ford. See, I remembered this that this team was pretty good, the uh, California Angels. I mean, obviously the White Sox were. That's going to be a pop-out to short, so there's two down. And that brings up Willie Akins. And he's going to get a single double asterisk. And that's going to move runners to first and third with two down. And Brian down. Or no, it's going to be runners at first and second with two down. And that'll be a fly to right. And it's an error. And that allowed another run to come in. So now they're ahead by three, California is. This 2005 White Sox team really does not play as well as a world champion as you would think a world champion would. They just don't. Um, Tadahito Iguchi is the batter. We're down by three here in the top of the fourth. The White Sox are, that is to say. Ground ball to the pitcher. That'll be an error on Tanana. So Tanana makes an error and gives way to Aaron Rowan with um, one guy on and nobody out. He gets hit by a pitch. So we got the first two guys aboard with no one out. We've got to capitalize here. Polly is the batter. And that is not that's not a good roll in the good column that he had. So that's a strikeout. One, one way and Jermaine Dye is the batter. And that's going to be a ground ball to second that'll move the runners over to second and third with Carl Everett as the batter. And that's going to be a strikeout. Tanana. Tanana is shutting us down here. We're going to the bottom of the fourth, down three. We only have one hit. California has six. That will be a ground ball to second, though. So Rick Miller grounds out. Um... Carney Lansford is up, back to the top of the order for them, and he's going to strike out. So barely settling down now, but it might be a little late for that if we can't touch Tanana, which apparently so far we can't. That will be a ground ball to the first baseman, Pauly, and it is a ground out. 
So we're going to the top of the fifth. Um, it's starting to get a little late here. We, uh, you know, I'm not liking, I'm not liking what I'm seeing. So let's see if Creedy can get us going here. That's going to be a hit by pitch. And Juan Uribe is up. He's got a pretty good card. I'm going to let him hit. Not there, though. But he does move the runner over, which is what I would have done if I were trying to bunt. And so A.J. Przinsky is the batter. And he hits the one thing, like, in, his, in that middle of that column that where he can't get anything, and Jeff Blum is the batter. And that's going to be a ground ball. So, uh, we're going to the bottom of the fifth. We're down by three. I'm, I want to reserve Frank Thomas for a position where I really, really need him. And uh, so, that's an out. And Bobby Gritch is up. That's going to be a ground out, so there's two down. And Dan Ford is the batter. And that's going to be a ground out. So California goes pretty quickly there in the fifth. We're going to the top of the sixth. Tadahito Aguchi, the batter. And that's going to be to the catcher, and it's a ground out. One down, and Aaron Rowan is the batter. Hoping for the three column here. Didn't get it. It's going to be a ground out. That's two down, and Pauly Canerco. And that will be a fly ball to left field, and it's a double. He works the double out of that. Got it past the uh, left fielder, and Jermaine Dye is the batter. And that's going to be a strikeout. Yeah, this team is just not as good as you would think they should be. Anyway, we got Willie Aikens up here in the bottom of the sixth against Burley. That's going to be a strikeout. Burley still has it, but he had that disastrous third inning where he gave up three runs. Brian Downing is the batter, and he's going to possibly have a home run. Probably a double, but it'll be a double. So um, he pulls up into second with one down. And... Uh, And the batter is the guy we I don't remember. Ralph Gar. It's Ralph Gar. And Ralph Gar is going to get a fly out. That was a ballpark single, but it turned into an out. And Rick Miller is the batter. And that's going to be a fly ball. So he gets out of that inning unscathed. But again, we need three runs just to tie this game. And Carl Everett is the batter. And that's going to be a fly ball. We're not making a living getting outside of that four column if we roll on Tanana's card. Joe Creedy is the batter. That's going to be a line out to first base. That's two down. And Juan Uribe. And he is going to get a 5-3. That is a ground ball. So we go to the bottom of the seventh. Burley is not, or this is like the inning of weakness right here. Um, but he's not tired yet. That's a ground ball. And Jim Anderson is up. And he is going to get a possible single one, but uh, that's only a 1 in 20 chance. And he is out with a 2. And uh, Don Baylor is the batter. And Don Baylor is going to get a fly to left. Let's see what happens. There, it's a triple. Left fielder kicked the ball around a little bit out there. So Bobby Gritch is up with a man 90 feet away. That could be problems. That could cause problems. That's a fly to right, but it is a fly out. So we got out of that inning, and now we're going to the top of the eighth. And A.J. Przinsky is the batter. And that's going to be a strikeout. Przinsky strikes out. That brings up Jeff Blum. Three 
0.38, that's going to be a pop out. And Tadahito Eguchi is going to hit a single. So he's aboard. And that brings up Aaron Rowan. And that's going to be a possible double. And it is a double. And I'm not going to send anybody even if I can. And that brings Canerico up. I was going to pinch hit um, the big hurt right here. But Canerico is just as good. And he walks. So now the bases are loaded. I am going to pinch hit, I think, the big hurt right here. So we are going to go to the bench. And, oh, he's not even available. What the heck? Why don't I have the big hurt available to me here? All right, well, uh, hmm. I guess we might as well let um, Jermaine die hit then. And they do bring in a new pitcher. It's going to be Dave LaRoche. And that is not going to be good. That is an out, and we're out of the inning. So I, now we know why the Big Hurt wasn't available, but I don't know why he isn't. He was on, I'm pretty sure he was on this team. 5-5 five, five is a ground ball to the shortstop. So there's one down. And Willie Akins is up. That's going to be a strikeout. And Brian Downing. And that's going to be a walk. I'm going to let Burley get through this inning because, well, for one thing, if we don't get three runs in the ninth inning, and we're not going to need a pitcher in the ninth. And he got a box, so that moved the runner over. And that's going to be a pop-out. So he did get out of the uh, eighth. Now we have to have three runs right here with Carl Everett leading us out. That'll be a single, so Carl Everett is aboard. And Joe Creedy is the batter. The Creedy Mon. That's going to be a ground ball C, so that's just going to move the runner over to second. All that stuff in the three column, we've avoided it. And that's another thing that has happened with these guys. We've been avoiding getting their good hits. That's a double one possible single, so it's a single. I'm not going to send anybody even if I can. We did get a run, though. We got a run out of that. Um, Brzezinski is the batter. That's going to be a ground ball B, so that is two out. And Jeff Blum, we're not letting Jeff Blum hit, no matter what. Got to be somebody better over here. I'm going to go with Pods. Okay, so let's uh, go with him. Replace. Okay. And Pizednik is pinch hitting. And he's going to get a single one to 15 to try to stay alive and keep this game going for us. And he doesn't. That's it. We've lost the game, I believe. Yes, we did. Three to one. So there's your box score. Unbelievable. We lose to the California Angels by the score of three to one. It was a good game. Good game, but we did lose it. And so that will be it for me, Sportsmanzy Bob Zolke, signing off.